But there's a balance here, and I'm, I'm curious how you align with this idea. It's called like the dreamed symphony in the sense that the infinite consciousness creates the dreamed reality that is that is this and then there's the multiverse which is all of the dreamed realities this is just one observerse and there's many other observerses happening an 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 infinite amount of illusory finity in a sense that is happening and so here you here here we have this this um dimensionless singularity that is uh, indivisible and it's indescribable. The, the, the Tao that can be named is not the eternal Tao. Okay, so we have that. And then now we are the, um, the, the dreamed symphony. And so here's the symphony that's happening. Now in the symphony, I'm playing the violin, but you're playing the trombone. And then someone else is playing the clarinet and someone else is playing the cello, and we're all playing different melodies and different harmonies. And people that are playing out of tune are people like you described that are suffering. They're still suffering. They're still in the service to self mentality. And people that are playing in tune are playing in the service to other mentality. Everything's in service. They're, they've, they have a clear gnosis of the divine that they are. And what and what's going on? They're very clear um, seer of truth consciousness. How do you resonate with that dreamed symphony analogy? Man, that's fucking heavy. I, I, <laughs> but, but, I, 